Hello everyone, I'm Cristiano Amon, president of Qualcomm. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'm pleased to be part of the very first GSMA Thrive event. And before we start, I just would like to say that our thoughts are with all who have been impacted by COVID-19, especially our employees, our partners, our suppliers, and everyone around the world. One thing that this pandemic made it very clear to everyone is that connectivity is essential. It's essential now to our lives, to the global economy, and it really allows us to do what we're doing here today. And it had really uh, enabled most of us to stay connected, to stay productive, and it is really a sign that what we're doing is essential and we must embrace that as an industry. And at the center of all of this is our transition to 5G, the next generation wireless technology. And we really applaud the industry effort to continue to push 5G forward even in the middle of the pandemic. Over 60 operators now have deployed 5G with 320 more investing in 5G. And we now have line of sight to 750 million 5G smartphones as early as 2022. One year later, we expect to see 1 billion 5G connections, and that is two years faster than the 4G transition. And as we go to 2025, 5G connections will reach nearly 3 billion. All part of a phase rollout that worked to make 5G available to everyone and help us build a more resilient world. And along that plan, we recently announced the Snapdragon 690 that actually makes 5G accessible and affordable to more people, providing that capability to everyone. And we believe that 5G will be essential to build an even more resilient society. I think we all can think, if 5G was mature and deployed everywhere, what could we be doing today? And as we look at the potential of this technology to be the future of the internet, and like electricity, we are going to rely on this foundation to connect everything, we have seen within the recent months that the true potential for this secure and fast and reliable connectivity is already with us. We don't have to explain anymore many of the 5G use cases. It's very clear its benefits in education, healthcare, social interactions in time like this. There is no better place to discuss the broadband gap and the digital divide than education. By late April 2020, 1.7 billion students were studying remotely, and that is not the reality of all students impacted by the pandemic. But as we realize the vision of 5G, 5G can help connect all of them, not only to enable remote learning, but to allow students worldwide to have high quality content, real time interactivity, personalized content in a fully immersive experience. Thinking about that, 5G connected PCs can be a very powerful solution for connected education around the world. We're calling on all operators around the world to join the 17 that already launch or plan to launch connected 5G PCs. That's a very powerful tool to bridge the digital divide and enable education to continue in times like this and we can narrow this gap and ensure the next generation is prepared for the future society we're building. Beyond education, there's also healthcare. And 5G can also help create a more resilient healthcare system. Over 1 billion virtual care visits are projected this year in the United States. And the change is likely permanent. 50% of healthcare services in the United States are estimated to be conducted virtually by 2030. You should start thinking of connectivity as an enhancement is yet another option for healthcare. And the future of healthcare will be able to rely on technology to, to have always connected, data rich, cloud enabled, private secure, and reliable for patients to trust. 
things as simple as doing imaging or video with real-time connection to the emergency room to augment healthcare experience will be a reality with 5G. And our goal as an industry to expand access, improve the outcomes, and reduce costs for a sector that is almost 10% of the global GDP. 5G will also transform social interactions. Connectivity is enabling us to stay connected today, but that can change dramatically with 5G as we start thinking of virtual presence. 5G will enable richer, more persistent social interaction, evolving to virtual reality and augmented reality to create new levels of lifelike interactions. A decade or more ago, the industry were talking about the future, but now we're seeing it arrive. In 5G, it will be essential to build a more resilient economy. This is where we will make a difference in productivity as an industry. When we connected the phone to the internet, people have not yet imagined many of the services that came. A great example of that, uh, you know, platforms like WeChat and many others. And 5G will help economies also become more resilient and competitive, unlocking innovation that could impact the entire supply chain from resources to retail, make cities smarter and more efficient. IHS reports an economic impact of 5G to be in the order of 13.2 trillion in goods and services by 2035. So 5G is not only good for health, education, and social interaction, but is actually good to enable the global digital economy to grow and prosper, driving innovation beyond smartphones. And with that, we should talk of, about a few important areas. When we talk about productivity, 5G and connectivity will transform productivity and it will be synonymous of what is the future of work. 84% of organizations are at least somewhat likely to continue some work from home or telecommuting arrangements. And new devices, 5G devices and 5G networks are going to be needed to support the workplace everywhere. And the transformation of the enterprise to a virtual enterprise with entire IT infrastructure into the cloud, it will become the norm. And that's going to be extended not only for the large corporations, but the small and medium business, which employ 50% worldwide. And the cloud connected in a reliable manner with unlimited bandwidth to 5G devices will enable the work environment to evolve as we start to rethink the connection between physical and digital spaces, bringing virtual reality and holographic telepresence. And that's aligned with the preferences of the emerging workforce for this new digital economy. As we talk about productivity, we also need to talk about the home. And the enterprise transformation of the home is a phenomenon that is happening right now worldwide. The home becomes part of the future of the enterprise. And we see that by seeing an explosion in demand for 5G fixed wireless access, as well alongside with the upgrade of Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi 6 in the home with mesh Wi-Fi. And with 5G, quality of service becomes important to separate the enterprise workflow from the entertainment that you see in the home making working from home much more effective, productive, and a true extension of the enterprise. And this is going to create a big transformation where you think of the deployment of connectivity, not only for capacity in suburban areas and residential areas, but also the importance of uplink, which allow users to stream images or upload data to the cloud. And this is a great opportunity for the industry and from the carriers to rethink about telecommunications, broadband, and connectivity in the home. And for all of this to happen, we need spectrum. And the spectrum will unlock the true performance of 5G and bring all of its benefits. It's not only about the mid bands, it's about the low bands 
in the mid bands and the high bands. And with the low and the mid bands, we will provide a balance of coverage, capacity, and performance. But millimeter wave is going to be essential to meet the full performance, capacity, and throughput for the next generation experiences across the home, the enterprise, and many industries. Millimeter Wave is now a proven technology with 4x the average performance of sub-6 networks in tests done by Okla at 400 megahertz. And there's 120 operators now investing in Millimeter Wave in addition to the mid-band and the reforming of the low bands. Besides spectrum, we have to also bring more capabilities to 5G. And that's going to happen as 5G moves from its original release 15 standard into the next release 16. And that's gonna be essential to many of the capabilities that will be required in the new economy enabled by 5G. Finalized in the next few weeks, release 16 will extend 5G into new verticals, moving this technology from enhanced mobile broadband to now a technology with critical new capabilities for industrial and mission critical use cases such as ultra reliability. And in the automotive sector, technologies such as 5G V2X. This technology will also support the deployment of private networks across sub six and millimeter wave and the evolution of infrastructure to support all of those new cases. Qualcomm is pioneering technology as part of this release, and that's a testament to the dedication of the 5G standard teams that keep this technology moving forward. This new 5G capabilities will open door to an expanded set of opportunities for the global economy. The impact to virtually every industry will be significant and far-reaching. Support for future manufacturing using ultra-reliable, low latency for industrial remote control. Private networks for the connected enterprise extended to ports, utilities, and much more within the smart city. Transportation and logistics with connected intelligent vehicles, agriculture, public safety, and much more. We will see innovation we have not yet imagined. And just like the 5G acceleration, this will only happen if we push forward as an industry. The need for connectivity has never been more clear. And now's the time for regulators to ensure there's low, mid, and high band millimeter wave spectrum available to reach the full potential of 5G. Operators to deploy 5G networks around the globe and broadly, and 5G devices to more people and applications. This will strengthen the global economy, creating new industries and driving the new cycle of digital transformation enabled by 5G. Qualcomm role is to partner and create an ecosystem to support that innovation. And we're very proud to stand here with you. Let's work together and make a more resilient world a reality with 5G. Stay strong, everyone, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.